Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here, and in this video we will be going over how to install the Nextcloud Sync Client. So in this video, I should explain that there are multiple ways to install the Sync Client for Linux. Basically, you want to go to nextcloud.com and click the Sync application. You can see it outlines in here that there's a Fedora, Tumbleweed, and all of that direct packages. We are going to go over how to install the app image just because that will cover everybody. And uh, this means that even if you're using something like obscure like Gentoo, you can still install the app image and do whatever you want with it. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to go through the process of trying to make Debian packages work on your Gentoo machine or whatever, you know, whatever distro you use. So this will cover everybody. So we're going to cover that. But if you check out the link in the description, I go over how to install it for every single distro. And that means that we go over the PPA, the AUR package, Fedora stuff, all of that. So... To start, just go to nextcloud.com slash install, and then you want to click the desktop button, download the Linux app image. You're going to start the download, click save, and just let it download. And uh, once it's done downloading, we can go ahead and open it up. All right, so now that everything is done downloading, we can go to our downloads folder in the file manager, and we go to downloads. We find our, put our Nextcloud image on the desktop, and uh, you're going to want to right click on properties here on the app. Go to permissions, make sure it's set to, is ex executable. You can also update this with the commands, and I go over how to change permissions in the link below. But click OK, and then just click open. Now, sometimes you might need to hover over it. Like uh, what I mean is highlight it, press enter on the keyboard instead of just clicking open. Because sometimes if you click open, it's going to want to open with something, uh, you know, some random application. From there, you can go and log in to your Nextcloud server. Now, I don't have a Nextcloud server set up right now. I use C file and SMB, so I can't demonstrate how to connect to it. But if you check the link in the description, I outline this all in step-by-step uh, -step instructions. It's very in-depth and detail. And uh, we even have articles on how to host your own server. So please check that out as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one that I make.